it was a remarkable moment in my career, but uh, a lot of that was due to Tim and the way he handled the show. I know you both came from humble beginnings, and, and certainly you and, and Tim never forgot that. He never lost sight of that. That's correct. Vice President Dick Cheney, I, th I think the, the, sh the roster of people we've had on our program this morning is a great indication of, of his importance and, and the fact that he was so well loved and it's a wonderful tribute. I, again, thank you for your time this morning, Mr. Vice President. Well, it's good to talk to you, Matt, and we certainly want to extend uh, our prayers to, uh, to Tim's family. And uh, he, he was a remarkable individual. We're all better for knowing him. The country and his profession are significantly enhanced by what he contributed. Thanks again for your time. Let's get a check of the other headlines of the morning now from Amy Robach. Amy, good morning to you. Good morning to you once again, Matt. We begin in Iowa where parts of the state are underwater. More than 400 city blocks in Cedar Rapids are completely submerged with water in some places as high as eight feet. At least two people have died from the floods. The Cedar River has crusted, but officials say it will be days before the water recedes to normal levels. In Northern California, strong and persistent winds continue to stoke the wildfires, making it difficult for firefighters battling the blazes. 23,000 acres have burned and at least 50 homes have been destroyed. And finally, the space shuttle Discovery will land in Florida later this morning. NASA sees no System problem with a metal clip that fell off Discovery's brakes. The mission included delivering the Kibo lab to the International Space Station. That is the news for now. Now back to Matt and Al. All right, Amy, thank you very much. Al is here, and he's got a check of the weather, Al. All right, thanks a lot, Matt. Let's see. First of all, our pick city of the day, Boise, Idaho, News Channel 7. Sunny and warm there, a high of 86 degrees today. We got a slight risk of some strong storms up in the northern plains, some clouds along the Pacific Northwest Coast. Slight risk of storms also around western uh, Oklahoma, northern Texas. Showers and thunderstorms moving into the northeast and mid-Atlantic states later this evening. Sunshine through the southeast on into Florida. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. And you can see looking good outside. Just a few clouds. We have seen a couple of showers move on shore as well across Dade and also down in the Keys. Your Weather Plus Titan radar and HD showing some of that. If we can switch to it, and you can see those showers pulling on shore. The Upper Keys, also the Lower Keys, right around Key West. Also, Marathon got a pretty good shower earlier today. Looks like things are clearing out though considerably for the time being. Now, your Weather Plus six-day forecast shows just a little bit of rain for the weekend, and then we have a better chance of rain by your Monday and Tuesday. Up next, the medical condition that took Tim Russert's life. We'll talk about it right after this. Great show, Beyonce. Thank you. And you Thank have a concert coming up, too. I do. You should come by. I'd love to. Just have your people call my people. Oh, I will. I'm going to have... She wants my people to call her people. I'm not finished with you. Hello? Eddie. Yeah. It's Ellen. <laughs> Listen, I need tickets for Beyonce's concert. Uh -huh. You're my people, right? People. Ellen, we're like family. Listen, I gotta go. No, I was gonna say, I gotta go. Um, no, I'm busy. I, okay. Gotta find my people. Uh, hey, guys. You went to the... How many persons make up a people? Why can't one person just call one person? People, please stay on the train. Does anyone know where stage seven is? That's it. People that can get me into the shows I want to get into. That's why I'm a card member. <laughs> I'm glad you could come. Oh, yeah. Well, I had people, you know. <laughs> Let's do lunch. Okay, okay. We'll do lunch. Great. Have your people call my people. Are you getting the most out of entertainment? Are you a card member? Chocolate silk is what um, brought me to silk. It's creamy, it's tasty, it's fantastic. It's a great healthy alternative for me. Silk has soy protein, antioxidants, and omega-3s, plus all the calcium and vitamins A and D of milk. Silk, take a step forward. I've lived here all my life. I'm not going anywhere. I've made arrangements for assistance if I need it. I'm a realist. I know I'll be old one day. Long-term care coverage from Mutual of Omaha Insurance Company. It's not just the sun you should care about. It's your sunscreen. SPF measures UVB rays, not UVA rays. Rays that can cause skin damage, skin aging, and even skin cancer. That's why Neutrogena created UltraSheer with Helioplex. 
It provides the highest combined UVA and UVB protection. Get the best in sun protection. Ultra Sheer with Helioplex, exclusively from Neutrogena. Recommended most by dermatologists. Nothing outlasts or outperforms it. Don't hold back. Express yourself. Express yourself by asking your doctor about Botox Cosmetic. Yeah. Visit BotoxCosmetic.com. Get some of your toughest questions answered about the one, the only, Botox Cosmetic. It's all about freedom of expression. We're back now with a special edition of Today, remembering our friend and our colleague, Tim Russer. He collapsed on Friday at NBC's Washington Bureau, and attempts to resuscitate him proved unsuccessful. Tim died of a heart attack at the age of 58. Dr. Michael Newman was Tim's personal physician. Dr. Nancy Snyderman is NBC's chief medical editor. Good morning to both of you. Good, Good morning. morning. Dr. Newman, I know this is a tough morning. You, you were at the hospital with Tim on Friday afternoon. Can you just take us through in layman's terms what happened? Um, as uh, we've been discussed, Tim uh, did have uh, coronary artery disease. Uh, he had absolutely no respect to his risk factors of blood pressure, cholesterol, and uh, Tim himself was always uh, struggling, as many of us do, with weight and trying to stay in shape. He had a, a stress test, a stress echocardiogram, which is a more sophisticated uh, type of a stress test, April 29th, and it showed excellent cardiac function at a very high level of exercise and uh, no evidence of coronary insufficiency. But that, let me just stop you there, Doctor, because that I think is what so many people find so shocking, a stress test back at the end of April showing, as you just said, no signs of, of diminished cardiac function. So how does this happen just a couple of months later? Tim would have uh, passed a couple of weeks later. Tim would have passed the stress test yesterday morning. In fact, he was on his treadmill and he pounded away on that treadmill uh, almost every morning that he was here in town. Um, I w in the green room, I was just talking with one of the folks and uh, let me try and illustrate that. I just have a few papers here that I'm going to roll up into a tube that represent a uh, coronary artery. And as you can see, uh, the uh, flow looks fine. What you have to imagine now uh, is that there's some cholesterol it's taken by this piece of Kleenex in the wall of the uh, coronary artery but it doesn't restrict blood flow. So on a stress test, uh, because there's no restriction of blood flow, he will have a normal uh, stress test. What happens, however, is that the cholesterol ruptures into the uh, channel of the coronary artery and that causes a sudden thrombosis, a blood clot, and that limits blood flow, causes the heart attack, that led to a ventricular fibrillation, which is a fatal arrhythmia and right. sudden death. Mm -hmm. That is the mechanism, rupture of a cholesterol plaque causing acute thrombosis. Nancy, let me bring you in on this. I know you'd like to say a few words about Tim, but also this idea that he could have a stress test so close to the actual event that claimed his life. It's got to be very alarming for a lot of people out there. Well, it is, and it underscores one of the big myths, and that is that young people can have heart disease. About over 300,000 people uh, die unexpectedly from heart disease <coughs> in this country, and uh, Tim is now one of those statistics. You know, I'm a relative newcomer to NBC News, and Tim opened me with, uh, welcomed me with open arms. He would always call me Doc. And in the height of this political campaign, I ribbed him a lot, saying he was having a lot more fun on his beat uh, than I was having on mine. And then he'd say, what do you know? And he'd want to know about Kennedy, and he wanted to know about the candidates. But then he would also pull me aside, and he said, it's tough to eat well on this campaign, and I'm obviously putting in a lot of hard hours. Just tell me that dark beer is good for me. <laughs> and I said, dark beer is good for you. Moderation, but dark beer is okay. And uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, am I going to miss those early morning chats yeah. with real, them, real quickly, Nancy, the best advice for people watching today in their 50s, 40s, who knows, 60s is what? The most important thing is the weight does matter, and you have to get it down. Knowing your cholesterol does matter, and he's obviously had extraordinary um, medical attention. But then I think particularly poised on this weekend, no matter what your health, you hug your dad today, and you get ready for Father's Day, because no matter what, we really do never know.
Uh, Nancy, thanks. And, and Dr. Newman, I just want to say to you, I, I know he was your patient, but I also know because of the length of your relationship, he was also a very good friend of yours. So our condolences to you as well. He'll be missed. And uh, as always, this is another lesson. Tim was a, an educator that taught us a lot. And it's a tragic uh, lesson that he's now teaching us. And mm -hmm. we'll just miss him. Dr. Newman and Dr. Snyderman, thanks again to both of you. And You're we're back with more. But first, this is today on NBC. Skyrocketing gas prices. Foreclosure is a struggling economy. How can you handle these financial challenges? All next week, NBC6 HD brings you stories to help you stay afloat from finding the cheapest gas. Tells you the gas prices while you're driving. Tweeting out or dining in for less. We're saving about $250 a month. CIU's experienced reporters tell you how to stretch your dollar and make it count for more every newscast all week long. Staying afloat, starting Sunday, only on NBC6 HD. Your one stop for saving solutions. Life is too short to hook up with the wrong person. Watch Ed Young Television, Sunday mornings at 11.30 a.m. Real answers for real life. When you use New Secret Flawless, you have five reasons to show your underarms. Hey, I five. I didn't even know that guy. Taxi! Taxi! No thanks. I'd rather walk. At ease, Captain. Wallace. Get up, get up. Ah, I'm innocent. I'm fresh. No other antiperspirant performs in more ways. A real deal, really. We are cooking up a real deal at the Eastern Financial Florida Credit Union Kitchen. Today's special Eastern Financial High Yield Checking. You get the high return of a CD, the convenience of a checking account, and a sprinkle of ATM fee rebates. High yield checking from Eastern Financial, paying 5.01% APY and up to $20 a month in ATM fee rebates. It's a real deal. Really. Enjoy. The Men's Warehouse Summer Sale is going on now. Save on a big selection of suits and sport coats, dress shirts, shoes, and sportswear. Men's Warehouse. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. High definition. It's now. It's here. On NBC6 HD. When we come back, the greatest joy in Tim Russert's life, his family, his wife, son, father, and sisters. But first, your local news. Tell me what sound a strawberry makes. Strawberry. Moo, moo, baka, baka. I'm serious. Can you hear it? There's some things you can only talk about with Dad. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Nothing says good times like music and s'mores. Pick up some Hershey's bars today and make some fun. It's not just the sun you should care about. It's your sunscreen. SPF measures UVB rays, not UVA rays. Rays that can cause skin damage, skin aging, and even skin cancer. That's why Neutrogena created UltraSheer with Helioplex. It provides the highest combined UVA and UVB protection. Get the best in sun protection. UltraSheer with Helioplex, exclusively from Neutrogena. Recommended most by dermatologists. Nothing outlasts or outperforms it. You can probably imagine a lot of ways to make Land O'Lakes butter spreadable. The easy way? Land O'Lakes spreadable butter with canola oil. With the pure Land O'Lakes butter you love. Soft and creamy, it spreads straight from the fridge. Imagine that. Joel Conable, only on NBC6 HD. South Florida's news leader. 
This is Today in South Florida on NBC6 HD. Good morning to you. I'm Willard Shepard reporting in the NBC6 newsroom. A Miami Gardens family is devastated this week after their teenage loved one gunned down in cold blood. 16-year-old Willie Mathis Jr. was shot and killed early Friday morning outside the Roman Pub Lounge while attending a friend's graduation party. Parents say there was plenty of security, even an undercover police officer patrolling the building. But Mathis was confronted by a gunman outside and shot. No arrests have been made in this case. If you have any information that can help police, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers in Miami-Dade at 305-471-TIPS. Burning the midnight oil, fire teams led a massive brush fire in Alligator Alley burned through the night as they decide their next course of action. The flames sparking yesterday afternoon near I-75 and mile marker 36. Brush fire has already consumed more than 200 acres. Chopper 6 HD over the scene as the blaze threatened to shut down the cross state road. Fortunately, the fire crews say the winds shifted west and that prevented flames from burning any nearby structures. So far, no injuries have been reported. Well, with the dwindling state of the economy, hard times leaving many people fighting from losing their homes, but good news is on the way. Miami-Dade County Commissioners organizing a foreclosure prevention workshop later today to help you. The free seminar takes place this morning from 10 a.m. to noon at the Mylander Auditorium. That's in Hialeah. While there, you'll be able to sit down one-on-one -on -one with representatives from housing agencies, mortgage providers, and financial institutions. We're ready to help you with foreclosure prevention default counseling, and also much more. The workshop also available if you speak Spanish. Now let's check on the weather. Let's go over to Jennifer. Jen. Thanks, Willard. We are seeing a little bit of rain this morning trying to pull on shore. Even though the closer it's getting to land, it is weakening quite a bit. Zooming in on some of those, you can see just south of Miami Beach trying to roll on near Kendall, near Homestead, also seeing a small shower. None of these are severe. Most of it's pretty light rain, even though Key West did get a pretty good downpour earlier this morning. Also, Marathon, so middle and lower keys, seeing a little bit of rain as well. High should be around 89 degrees later on this afternoon. Should stay mainly dry with winds out of the east at 10 to 15. Most of the storms should stay on the west coast again today. Seas will be two to four feet with a moderate chop on your base. Surf of 83 and for tonight, 78 degrees. Partly cloudy, staying mainly dry with winds out of the northeast at about 5 to 10. This is your Weather Plus six-day forecast. Highs are going to stay around 90 for most of the week. On and to next week, we will see a few showers for your Sunday, but it should stay pretty dry for the weekend all in all before lots of moisture comes back in the forecast for next week. About a 20 to 30 percent coverage of rain for your Saturday and Sunday will increase that to a 50 percent coverage for your Monday through Thursday. So like we said, quite a bit more moisture coming back uh, by next week. But for the weekend, things look good and dry with highs around 90. Willard. Jennifer, thank you. Another update for you in just 25 minutes. Take us out on the road on the weekend, 87.7 on the FM dial. We'll go right to the fitting from there. You can't hate olive green. No, the dresses are done. I'm gonna wear my Nana's veil. I would love to try and get the cake to somehow match it a little. Are you planning a wedding? I don't know if this is even possible. If I could somehow match the what cake do you think of this? to the... It's perfect. Cool. Something round, but also something square. Oh. Perfect. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Watch South Florida tonight now in high definition. There's not a day that goes by that I don't say that to my son that I love him and my wife Maureen says to my son she loves him. But I say you're always, always loved, but you're never, never entitled. And my mission is to instill the same values my dad instilled in me. When he did leave for college, I did write him a note which said, Luke, study hard, laugh often, and keep your honor. And if he can say the same thing about his dad, yeah. I'm a pretty happy guy. Uh, and he can say the same thing. Tim Russert on being a son and a father, two roles that he savored and reveled in. It's 830 now on a somber Saturday morning. It's the 14th of June, 2008, a special edition of Today, remembering our friend and our colleague Tim Russert. He was a man passionate about politics. On election night, he was the last one to sign off at night and the first one to join us on the Today Show the next morning to break it all down. But his true passion was something else, the family he loved so dearly. From NBC News in Washington, this is Meet the Press with Tim Russell.
The world knew Tim Russert as the consummate newsman, a political junkie who lived for the challenge. And now you're in Ohio, and your words are much different, Senator. The record is very clear. Well, I, I, you don't have all the record. You are but that tenacity belied a softer side, one of a devoted family man, a son, brother, husband, and father. For those who knew Tim, it was that love of family that truly defined him. Tim was all about roots. Uh, it, was, it was not just Buffalo that was central to his life, his dad, his son who he adored, his wife who he adored, but it was in all of his dealings. I never had a conversation with Tim where he didn't talk about my children. As the baby brother to three sisters, Tim developed a special bond with the only other male member of the family, his dad, Big Russ. Hey, tell him who you met on Father's Day. Remember? That closeness was obvious in how Tim cared for his father in recent years. I want to thank you so much for embracing him. It means everything to me and everything to him. Tim even wrote a book about growing up with his dad called Big Russ and Me, which became a bestseller. Big Russ did not emote. <laughs> he did not grab you and say, you know, I love you, you're my boy. Quite the opposite. It was, pick that up, you're late, let's go. I always knew he loved me, but he never quite said it in, in words that I, it would resonate in, in that kind of way. Tim took a different approach with his own son, Luke. I'm much more emotive than my dad. There's not a day that goes by that I don't say that to my son that I love him. A bond that tied three generations together. I stand on my dad's shoulders and my son stands on mine. And the only way we can do that is by accepting from each other, from generation to generation, these lasting lessons of life. It was a life Tim shared with his wife of 25 years, Maureen North. As a writer for Vanity Fair, Tim found his journalistic counterpart. He was one of the most influential journalists in the country, but he was also married to one. And just last month, the family prepared to mark a milestone. Tim Russert in Boston, where young Luke is set to graduate from Boston College. Congratulations, Tim. Uh, I'm very proud to be his dad. You should be. It's only fitting that this Sunday, a day synonymous with Tim Russert, we honor fathers the kind Tim loved and loved being. Tom Brokaw is with us along with MSNBC contributor Mike Barnacle, who was with Tim Russert on Friday, really just a few minutes before he passed away. Mike, let me start with you. You reminded me of, of, a, of a, an episode or an event earlier in the program. The three of us were, Tim, you and me were in New Hampshire the day before the New Hampshire primary this year, and we were standing outside City Hall waiting for John McCain to appear at that rally and and would it be fair to say that there was no bigger celebrity for the thousand or so people gathered in that square than tim russert i mean how many people came up and wanted to say hi to tim or shake his hand oh yeah man absolutely i mean and you're matt lauer you're the today <laughs> show and uh you know i i think it gets back to what we spoke to earlier that everyone felt they knew tim everyone felt that they could come up give him a soft punch in the shoulder and say you know tim how's it going what do you think well how do you think he felt and, and dealt with fame i think he dealt with it in a way i'll tell you how he dealt with it i think tim every day of his life every day of his life lived with the inner feeling that somehow his mother was going to shake his shoulder and say, Timmy, Timmy, it's time to get up for school. You're going to be late for school. He couldn't believe a lot of what had happened to him in his life. And he dealt with it in that way. He had, he had very little ego in terms of who he was on the screens that are in so many American living rooms. He knew who he was in terms of interviewing Vice President Cheney or Senator Obama or Senator Clinton yeah, or Senator but he never, McCain. He never let it get out of hand, Mike, which was great and Tom I want to bring you in because Maureen um, oh what a great pair they made and you've spoken to her in the last 24 I, hours. I have and uh, I've talked to Luke and uh, Maureen last night from Italy they're on their way back now they'll arrive early this afternoon talked about arrangements for next week they were very strong stunned obviously by all of this I don't think that they had any indication that Tim's um, cardiac condition was what it was she had a lot of strong opinions, and uh, dinner at their house <laughs> was uh, high octane, as I always used to say, and, um, and, and we played some great practical jokes on Marine. Tim and I did because all of her ner nerve endings were always exposed, waiting for something, and she would take the hook and nothing made us happier, and then she would say, you guys, what am I going to do with you? Um, it was a great, passionate marriage. I, I 
Got time for one quick story. They met at the 1980 convention, long night out. Everybody was having a great time. Tim is bedazzled by her. Uh, it's now early Sunday morning. They're all walking back. They're going to her, her apartment, and she, he expects to get invited in. They stopped her by the newspapers on the way in, and he gets to the apartment stuff. And she said, where do you think you're going? <laughs> he said, I thought I'd come up. She said, no, no, you bought the Daily News. I've got the New York Times. <laughs> That's not a good match. <laughs> Tom, thanks. Mike, thanks. We'll get back in touch with you in just a second. Let's get a check, quick check of the weather now from Mr. Roker. All right. Thanks a lot, Matt. Let's see what's going on. Show you for today. We do have strong storms to worry about in the northern plains. Also, the Texas-Oklahoma border. Clouds along the Pacific Northwest coast. Thunderstorms move into the northeast later today. Then for tomorrow, we are expecting to see more strong storms, unfortunately, across parts of Iowa on into Minnesota. Sunshine along the west coast. Sizzling conditions in the southwest. Thunderstorms along the Florida Georgia border. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. And good Saturday morning to you. We are seeing a few clouds out there, but really not a bad start to the day. We are seeing a few showers trying to pull on shore, having a hard time making it though. You can see them pulling on land, but definitely falling apart. The upper keys seeing a little bit of rain. Also the lower keys down in Key West and even Marathon saw a couple of showers. We have seen a few showers roll through Fort Lauderdale this morning and through Plantation, but we should say mainly dry for the afternoon. About a 20% coverage of rain. A few showers for Sunday and then the rain back in the forecast by Monday. And you're, that's your latest weather, Matt. All right, Al, thank you very much. Coming up next, we're going to look at the time that Tim brought Big Russ to today. We're back right Big after Russ, this. Big Russ, let me start with you. Let me do A bad day is when your blood sugar is 30 or 60, when you're ready to go run in five miles. Oh, it takes a lot of discipline. You can't wish away a hill or a mountain. You can't wish away your diabetes. You have to be ready for whatever life throws at you that morning. Using a blood glucose meter helps me course correct in the middle of a run. The Contour Meter from Bayer. No coding technology means no coding errors and more confident choices. My meter is a running partner. I'm Joanna Gary, completing a marathon. Now that's my simple win. Healthier, more radiant skin? It's in your future now. Discover the power of Aveeno Positively Radiant. With Total Soy, it's clinically proven to visibly reduce past damage, while advanced SPF 30 helps prevent future damage. Aveeno Positively Radiant. Creamy, smooth, flavorful. The name, Silk. Smooth as, and, and it is. Silk has soy protein, antioxidants, and omega-3s, plus all the calcium and vitamins A and D of milk. Silk, take a sip forward. Are you the one keeping all these different pain relievers for different pains? Yes, I am. Oh, well, you know, nothing works better or on more pains than Advil. So, you don't need different pain relievers. I just need Advil. It's the every pain reliever. I have senior moments, but my skin shouldn't. New Gold Bond Ultimate Restoring Lotion. Seven moisturizers, three vitamins, plus CoQ10 to help skin renew itself. Can your lotion do that? Gold Bond Ultimate Restoring. This stuff really works. It's time to think about what Dad does when he doesn't have to do anything. It's time to remember where Dad goes when he doesn't have to go anywhere. Get him a gift card from the Home Depot. Available in-store or online, it's the ultimate Father's Day card. Good for the tool he's always wanted, or the other tool he's always wanted. The Home Depot, proud sponsor of Father's Day. Don't blink, or you'll miss it. 50% off all lenses with any frame purchase at LensCrafters. Even bifocals, no lines, and prescription sunglasses. So don't blink. LensCrafters 50% lenses sale ends July 5th. With Pam for grilling, food sticks to nothing. The secret to better hair color? It's Garnier Nutrice. The secret? With a separate grapeseed oil concentrate, Nutrice starts nourishing while you color. Because nourished hair means better color. And only Nutrice nourishes with both grapeseed and avocado oils. For richer, more radiant color. Root to tip. And grays, they're your secret. Discover better color. It's Garnier Nutrice. Nourished hair, better color. Garnier. Take care. I always say to young people, you have to take your place in the ranks of citizenship. And one of the first ways you exercise that citizenship is by voting. M 
MSNBC, the place for politics. Aside from being at the top of his game in politics, Tim Russert was also a best-selling author, pinning, excuse me, writing two best-selling uh, books, one called Wisdom of Our Fathers and Big Russ and Me. And almost four years ago to the day, I spoke with Tim and his dad about that book, a book that this morning is more poignant than ever. Big Russ, let me start with you. Let me just ask you about your reaction to the popularity of this book. Are you surprised by all the hoopla? Yes, very much so. It, uh, it's uh, been really great the way it's gone over, and everybody's looking for him, and they're still looking for him. Are you it's surprised really there's so much interest, though, Big Russ, in what you have meant to Tim's life, and, and so many people want to read these stories that are really very personal stories? You know, I think, uh, you know, that we've been pretty close and everything, and the, the, the magazine or the book is something else. T Tim, you, you have to be surprised a little bit. I mean, you know, this is, you basically wrote a story about what your father you your meant plan. to you, and everybody wants you to read it. You know, Matt, I have yeah. been yeah. amazed how it's resonated, and as I've gone around the country, <laughs> people you. coming up and hey, saying, area, this area. is my life. Mr. Griffin. This is what my dad taught me. Big Tom, Big Mike, Big Fred, Big Pat, Big Joe, Big Jack. There's a sense in this country, a yearning for authenticity, for reality, it's reality TV. These guys are real. They grew up there in the Depression, they went to World War II, and they came home and built the greatest middle class in the history of mankind. And we, we have to salute them. We have to thank them for their sacrifice. I, I know you've said to me on many occasions that you learned a lot about your work ethic from your father because he came home from the war. He took two jobs, worked for the sanitation department, drove a newspaper delivery truck, and really kind of did what he had to do to pay the bills for his family. Do you think you and he view work differently? You love your work. Did your dad love his work? He felt his responsibility. I don't think he loved it. He had to get up every morning at 5 o'clock in the morning and kept going all day and all night. Uh, you know, Matt, he never complained. And I would say to him, Dad, two full-time jobs, that's really got to wear you down. Some guys couldn't find one. Dad, six months in a hospital after a plane crash, that had to be tough, tougher for the guys who died. He used to say to me, put your nose to the grindstone and hope for the best. Hard work and optimism, you think they should be in conflict, he embraced them both. Big Russ, you know, guys are not as good about speaking of their emotions as women seem to be. You don't hear as many fathers and sons sharing intimate stories with each other as mothers and daughters. Have you and Tim always been able to kind of share what's on your mind and in your heart? I think so, pretty much so. We, we've uh, done things together, and when he was going to college and things, he'd make it a run home and See, let him see, let us see him, and then, <laughs> then he'd go back. But uh, the guy up the corner was his friend, Tom. Tom. Uh, uh, Tom Evans. You know, the gas station. <laughs> Tom Evans. Yeah. yeah. Tim, you know, we. He was, with Dad he was a mail taker. I used to come home and get the oil change or the car fix, and my dad would go crazy. These tires look like Yule Brenner's head. What are you, you can't be <laughs> driving, driving it. Fatherly <laughs> concerns. You, you've talked a lot about the good things that have happened between your dad and you over the years. And, and I'm, I'm maybe a weird question, but have there been tough times? Because sometimes you learn more from tough times than you do from good times. Oh, sure. You know, growing up in the 60s was not easy. And I went to school in Ohio, right near Kent State. We had long talks about Vietnam, about culture change. Uh, I went to Woodstock. Didn't call home for four or five days, and my dad was furious at me. He, he has a right yeah. to be. When my son went away for a night on a sleepover and didn't check in, I went bonkers. <laughs> so you learn from that. But you know, Matt, even during Vietnam, and I, and I think about a lot as we cover Iraq, my dad would say, I understand people wanting to be for peace or against the government policy, but don't root for the enemy. Don't root for the Viet Cong. Don't be for those guys. Be for your country and try to change it inside. Well, Big Russ, I know you're out there in, in Buffalo, and you've got to become like, you're probably the biggest celebrity in Buffalo right now because the bills are falling on tough times. But, but uh, Big Russ, it's a pleasure to see you even by satellite. Good luck and happy Father's Day to you. And, and Tim, happy Father's Day to you as and well. And to you, Matt. Thank you. And boy, are our thoughts with Big Russ and the rest of the Russert family this morning. We're back in a moment. This is Today on NBC.
skyrocketing gas prices, foreclosures, a struggling economy. How can you handle these financial challenges? All next week, NBC6 HD brings you stories to help you stay afloat from finding the cheapest gas. Tells you the gas prices while you're driving. Tweeting out or dining in for less. We're saving about $250 a month. CIU's experienced reporters tell you how to stretch your dollar and make it count for more every newscast all week long. Staying afloat, starting Sunday, only on NBC6 HD. Your one stop for saving solutions. Inside those headphones is something familiar, a battery. And if you think all batteries are the same, consider this. When even the firefighters have to get out, fire departments all over the world now depend on the T-Pass 3 communicator. And packed inside is the only battery T-Pass trusts, Duracell. So whether it's music to your ears or the signal that could save you, it just has to work. Duracell, trusted everywhere. Are you like me? I have high blood pressure and I have high cholesterol. But he treats both with one pill. Cadillac makes it easier to manage my two conditions. Cadillac contains two proven medicines, one for lowering high blood pressure, the other for lowering high cholesterol, combined in one pill. Cadillac, that works for me. Cadillac is one of many treatment options, in addition to diet and exercise that he discussed with his doctor. Cadillac is not for everyone. It's not for people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. To check for liver problems, you need simple blood tests. Tell your doctor about any heart problems and all other medications you are taking, or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Along with diet and exercise, Cadillac effectively lowers both high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Two medicines, one pill. Ask your doctor if Cadillac is right for you. This morning we are paying tribute to a colleague who was taken much too soon. And before we go, we want to get some final thoughts about Tim Russert from some of the people who knew him best. I'm going to start with Mike Barnacle, who is a dear friend and a colleague. And, and Mike, for the life of me, I can't find anything good in this right now. But the challenge is to find a way to make some good out of this. And I guess that has to do with the next generation of journalists. Yeah, it does, Matt, and it's been uh, alluded to and spoken to several times today and late yesterday uh, for young people interested in this great business uh, to have the ability to listen to people, to be fair, uh, not to be mean-spirited, to put your cynicism on the back shelf and uh, just bring a smile to each and every day and the joy and the love of your profession, your family, and your faith. Those are all things that Timmy uh, embodied and uh, I, I think anyone getting into this business would uh, certainly do themselves very well by looking to Tim, his personality, the way he lived his personal life and that lapsed into his professional life. Yeah, Tom, you talk to young broadcasters and journalists all the time. What, what, what should they take away from Tim Russert's career? Well, I think he really raised the standard of political interviewing to the highest level of our profession and it affected uh, not just young journalists but the people who've been around Washington for a long time. And the newspaper people had a high regard for him as well. He was the first broadcast journalist to be admitted into the Gridiron Club. Um, that was a great tribute to him. And it was required watching on Sunday mornings because uh, there was no air for escape there. The record was complete, and Tim went right after him, and he believed in accountability. And I want to mention that you're going to host a, a special edition of Meet the Press tomorrow morning, Sunday morning. And I'm sure, that, I'm sure that's going to be an emotional task for you, but it's, it's great that you're doing it. We're going to be back in a moment right after this. Big game last night. Oh, yeah. Stanley Cup. I can feel it now. A Russert has met a president of the United States. This is the answer. Get it right. Well, that's it. I just took my osteoporosis medicine, and now I'm set for the whole month because I take Boniva. Just one pill a month builds strong, healthy bones to help prevent fractures. And it's working for me. My test results prove my bones have gotten stronger. Studies show after one year on Boniva, nine out of 10 women had better bone density. Unlike treatments you have to take every week, you only need Boniva once a month. So it makes my bones stronger on my schedule.
Don't take Boniva if you have low blood calcium, severe kidney disease, or can't sit or stand for at least one hour. Follow dosing instructions carefully. Stop taking Boniva and tell your doctor if you have difficult or painful swallowing, chest pain, or severe or continuing heartburn, as these may be signs of serious upper digestive problems. If severe bone, joint, and or muscle pain develops, tell your doctor. I've got this one body and this one life. So I'm glad this one pill is making my bones strong. To find out if Boniva is right for you, ask your doctor and learn more at Boniva.com. Feel like your skin needs a turnaround? New Regenerist 14-Day Skin Intervention. With Olay's concentrated daily doses, it takes just 14 days to give your skin a significantly lifted look. Olay Regenerist. This move. Or this move. Even this move. New Snuggle with Fresh Release reawakens your senses with freshness on the move, all day long. Snuggle on a mission for upliftment. Oil and natural gas powered the past, but the future. Fact is, a growing world will require more, 45% more by 2030, along with greatly expanding alternatives. We have substantial oil and natural gas resources right here. Enough to power 60 million cars and heat 160 million households for 60 years. With advanced technology and smart policies, together we can secure America's energy future. Log on to learn more. You know, your whole life they tell you to save, save, save. And we did. But when the time comes, nobody really tells you how to start spending. Actually, Fidelity can. They helped us figure it out. Of course, they had these new ways to do all that stuff. They helped with our income needs, so now we're free to tackle the Great Barrier Reef. What happened to Paris? Did we talk about Paris? A lot. We're going to Paris next. Retirement income now made easier. Call Fidelity or your own advisor. Smart move. It's dinner time. I want meat. The protein keeps me strong, so I can keep going. And believe me, I will. Pedigree, really good food for dogs. If you'd like us to, you've tweaked, you've rewritten those, haven't you? <laughs> Not my call. These, we'll give you. Most important, you'll make this guy, my dad, the happiest guy in the world. Although we have spent the last two hours or so trying to do justice to the life and career of Tim Russert, my fear is that we have only scratched the surface. It's impossible, I think, for you people at home to know how big a hole we all have in our hearts this morning and how much we'll miss our friend and our colleague or how we will forever be trying to fill his formidable shoes. You know, Tim would be the first person to say at one point, it is necessary to move on. The news cycle, he would say, demands it. There's an election and so much more to cover. But moving on is much easier said than done when it comes to Tim Russert, because in many ways, he defined us here. And I know he elevated us all. But just think of the feast that awaits him. Right now, he's probably making a list of all the powerful people, the former presidents, the senators, the members of Congress, sitting up there in heaven's green room, lining up for the chance to go toe-to-toe -to -toe just one more time with Tim. He's probably already made the booking calls. He's lined up one heck of a panel for tomorrow morning. And as always is the case, he is doing his homework. He's getting prepared. When that red light goes on, he'll be at the top of his game. He'll shoot from the hip. He will take no prisoners. God, what a show he will have. So, Tim, I leave you this morning with the words you've said to me on so many occasions before big interviews and before big moments in my life. Pal, go get him. Sunday, a tribute to Tim Russert. Tom Brokaw hosts a very special edition of Meet the Press on NBC. Tuesday, the ultimate underdog competition yes! is back. All new America's Got Talent, Tuesday on NBC. Next at nine, a passion for life and his life's work. NBC Six, mourning the loss of renowned journalist Tim Russert. More on his impact right here in South Florida. Also ahead, firefighters are keeping a close eye on a new set of wildfires burning near Alligator Alley. Cleared for landing, Space Shuttle Discovery heads home. 
And could they go all the way? The top-ranked University of Miami Hurricane baseball team looking to stir things up in Omaha. Good morning to you. I'm Willard Shepard. Today in South Florida at 9, straight ahead. Whether you're building, remodeling, or creating a fresh look for your home, an American Lighting Association member showroom has experienced lighting professionals who can make your home more beautiful, functional, and secure. Most of all, we bring your best ideas to light at South Dade Lighting, 13006 Southwest 87th Avenue. At some point in your day, you want to open something other than another work email. Goya Red Kidney Beans. Hearty, plump, and irresistibly delicious. Perfect for soups, salads, and stews. Enjoy them also in a quick, savory meal with Goya Yellow Rice. You get the message. Everyone wants to get home because something good is cooking. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Before comparing the 2009 Toyota Corolla to the Honda Civic LX, let's take a look at the standards. Standard analog brake system with brake assist. Standard split folding rear seat system. Standard for the Corolla, the best selling subcompact in the US, but not available for the other guy. Lease the new 2009 Corolla LE for $229 per month for 48 months with only $229 due at signing. Or get $750 cash back on 2009 LE and XLE models. Toyota, moving forward. Rapids Water Park is bigger, better, and wetter than ever. With the new Splash Island, with four new attractions and ten hot slides, we're taking dipping, twisting, dunking, dropping, soaking, and drenching to a whole new level. Experience the new Splash Island at Rapids Water Park. South Florida's news leader. This is Today in South Florida on NBC6 HD. Right now on Today in South Florida, a tremendous loss in the world of journalism. Tim Russert, a devoted family man and beloved colleague, dies at the age of 58. Much more on his life and his impact on South Florida still ahead this morning. Live look out there for you right now. It's been a rainy couple of days to say the least. What's in store for the Father's Day weekend? Jennifer We'll be here with the forecast in just a minute. Plus, all eyes on the sky today. The Space Shuttle Discovery makes a beeline for Florida's Space Coastline. And it may sound too good to be true, but organizers say it's the real deal. We'll explain exactly how you can get your hands on a free vacation right here in Florida. It's also a touching story. Live picture out there, our Hotel La Concha Cam looking beautiful down in the Florida Keys. A lot of people can head that way because of the new bridge down there. And it's also uh, Saturday, Flag Day, June the 14th. This is today in South Florida. Good morning to you, Willard Shepard. Much more on those stories coming up. But first, the weather. How there are you we today? Go. I'm doing great. How about you? It's going to be a nice weekend. It is going to be a nice weekend. We, we have had a rainy couple of days, like you just said, but it is looking much, much better. In fact, yesterday we had a water spout off of Miami Beach, right around 52nd to 63rd. We have a few live pictures. You can see a downpour yesterday we saw quite a few showers yesterday morning cleared out most of you saw not a drop of rain for the afternoon except if you're on miami beach and boy did the rain come down that water spout was uh, reported right around 155 or so so there was a tornado warning until about 215 yesterday afternoon once those water spouts make it on shore though a lot of times they just quickly dissipate but there was a warning issue because it did come 